I'm Brent Stokes, owner of Stokes Marine. We're proud to be the exclusive golden dealer in the Lee County, Southwest Florida area. One question we get asked a lot from prospective customers is, how fast is my lift? It's a common concern amongst dock and boat lift owners is the speed of the lift. The speed of the lift is particularly challenging on open waterways. If you're on an open river, if you're on an open bay where there's a lot of wave action or a lot of wind or a lot of current, the speed of the lift becomes more of a sensitive concern. The speed is particularly advantage on the open waterways where you have wave action because the speed of the lift is, is going maybe slow and the boat is staying stagnant. And as the lift comes up and engages the bottom of the boat, if a wave comes by, it can lift the boat up. And then as the boat falls back down to the valley, the wave crash down on the cradle. It can be a hair raising experience. In a protected canal, the speed of the lift isn't near as important. You don't have the same wave action. You don't have the same current. It's not as important to get the boat out of the water quickly to safely get the boat up each cycle. Let's talk about the factors that truly affect how fast one's boat lift is. The speed of a boat lift is determined by multiple components. The gearbox, the motor, the winder diameter, and the number of parts to the line on the lift. These are the components that are in the equation that establish the number of feet per minute that that lift will travel. Let's start with the RPMs of the motor. A lot of the motors we use are 1,725 RPMs. We do have some high-speed motors that are 3,450 RPMs. You take the RPMs of the motor and you divide that by the gear ratio of the gearbox. Most of the gearboxes we use are a 480 to one or a 350 to one. So in this situation, we're gonna divide 1,725 RPMs by 480, the gear ratio, and that's gonna tell us how many revolutions per minute that gearbox is gonna make. The number of revolutions per minute that your gearbox makes is gonna dictate how many revolutions per minute your drive shaft and winder are gonna make. The amount of cable that's gonna wrap on the drive shaft and the winder per minute is a product of the number of revolutions it makes per minute, as well as the circumference around that drive shaft. What is the diameter of that winder that that cable is wrapping around? The larger diameter that that drive shaft is, the more cable that it's gonna wrap per revolution. Once we've established how many revolutions per minute the drive shaft's gonna make and what the circumference is for that cable around that drive shaft, the next part is to take that number of inches of cable and divide it by the number of parts to the line. This particular lift has a four part line lift. There's four cable components from the top beam down to the cradle. That's gonna fluctuate based on your capacity of lifts. You're gonna have one part, two part, three part, and four part lifts. With a one part line, the amount of cable that was wrapped around your drive shaft is the same number of inches per minute that your cradle moved. However, with a two part line, we've got to divide that by two. So the amount of cable that wrapped around the drive shaft per minute is divided by two. That's what ultimately affects the number of feet per minute that your cradle is going to travel in the up or down position. Naturally on a three part line, we're dividing that cable length by three and a four part line, we're dividing that cable length by four. The fewer the number of parts to the line, the faster that lift is going to travel. We talked about the 345 and 1725 RPM motors. There is such a thing as too fast. One needs to be careful they don't use a high speed motor with a 350 to one gearbox on a one part line. The bottom line is you can result in a lift that just travels at an unsafe speed, especially if you've got younger kids, grandkids, elderly operating the lift. A 3,450 RPM motor versus a 1,725 RPM motor is just that. The 3,450 RPM motor is twice as fast as a 1,725 RPM motor. That drive shaft in that motor is literally moving twice as many rotations per minute. Therefore, it's turning that gearbox twice as fast at twice as many rotations per minute. One thing one has to be aware of with choosing a high-speed motor is, is the electrical source. We gotta make sure that the distance from the control box of the lift to the power source is short the high-speed motors require additional electrical. We talked about how the number of parts of the line affects the speed of the lift. Going to a four-motor lift gives us the opportunity to reduce the number of parts of the line in each of the corners. By reducing the number of parts of the line, in turn, we have a faster lift. So one of the additional components that comes in the decision that impacts the speed is the number of gearboxes and motors on that lift. Two-motor lift, two-gearbox lift versus a four-motor and four-gearbox lift. Let's go over some common inches of travel per minute. A 480 to one gearbox with a 1725 RPM motor, which is a very standard setup, on a one part line is gonna travel the cradle of the lift 40 inches up or down per minute. 
If that lift capacity requires a two-part line, that number is going to be cut in half, and that's going to be 20 inches of travel up and down on that cradle per minute. With a three-part line, you're going to have about 13 inches of travel per minute, and with a four-part line, it's going to be about 10 inches of travel per minute. Let's discuss the number of inches per minute your lift can move with a 3450 RPM motor and a 480 to 1 gearbox. With a one-part line, 3450 RPM and 480 to 1, you're going to end up with 80 inches of travel per minute. If your lift capacity requires a two-part line, that's going to be 40 inches of travel per minute. If you have a three-part line, it's going to be 26 inches of travel per minute. And on a four-part line, that's going to be 20 inches of travel per minute. So the 3450 RPM motor, which is twice the RPMs as a traditional RPM motor or our high-speed motor, is going to increase your travel inches per minute twofold. My name is Brent Stokes, Stokes Marine, Southwest Florida exclusive dealer for Golden Boat Lifts. If we can be of any more assistance on the speed of the lift and how that impacts your next lift purchase, please reach out to Golden Boat Lifts at goldenboatlifts.com.